January 11th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Matthew chapter 11 from the New Testament. When Jesus had finished instructing his twelve disciples, he went on from there to teach and preach in their towns. Now when John heard in prison about the deeds Christ had done, he sent his disciples to ask a question. Are you the one who is to come? Or should we look for another? Jesus answered them, Go tell John what you hear and see. The blind see, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have good news proclaimed to them. Blessed is anyone who takes no offense at me. While they were going away, Jesus began to speak to the crowd about John. What did you go out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken by the wind? What did you go out to see? A man dressed in fancy clothes? Look, those who wear fancy clothes are in the homes of kings. What did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written. Look, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. I tell you the truth, among those born of women, no one has arisen greater than John the Baptist. Yet the one who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he is. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence and forceful people lay hold of it. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John appeared. And if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah who is to come. The one who has ears had better listen. To what should I compare this generation? They are like children sitting in the marketplaces who call out to one another. We played the flute for you, yet you did not dance. We wailed in mourning, yet you did not weep. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, He has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Look at him, a glutton and a drunk, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. Then Jesus began to criticize openly the cities in which he had done many of his miracles, because they did not repent. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! If the miracles done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more bearable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? No, you will be thrown down to Hades. For if the miracles done among you had been done in Sodom, it would have continued to this day. But I tell you, it will be more bearable for the region of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. At that time Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and intelligent and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and any one to whom the Son decides to reveal him. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke on you and learn from me, because I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and my load is not hard to carry. God, Thank you. In verse 28, you say, come to me, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. And so often we use that verse for when we are emotionally or physically or spiritually worn out, and we just want to be enfolded in the comfort of your arms. And so we go to that verse a lot for that weariness and those burdens. And I love that image of you. 
But the come to me here is even more than that. If I go back up where you talked about we played the flute for you, yet you did not dance. You invite every single person in the world to come to you, to come to the dance, to hear the music, to be forgiven, to have eternal life. And so many people reject that dance. So many people reject the music. So many people reject you, God. When they are burdened by sin that they are carrying around, by things that they think they can never, ever take off of them. And their whole life is held back by these burdens and the sin and everything that has happened before they met you. And I just hope that if there's somebody listening today that is in that situation, that you will hear God's words that say, come to me. And, and he means it. He means come to him, come to him with everything, come to him with your burdens and your sins and everything that the world rejects because he won't reject you. He will actually open his arms to you and he will give you rest from all of this pain and all of this suffering he will give you peace and grace, so much grace, every day. And you will dance, and you will be light, and you'll be unburdened. This chapter goes on to say, For my yoke is easy to bear, and my load is not hard to carry, because he takes on all of our load for us. He sent his only son to die for us, to take on that incredible load all of the sins of every single person that has ever lived in this entire world, 110 billion people, all of the people currently living, and all of the people that will live every single sin. He died on the cross for those. So if you are burdened right now, if you are overwhelmed with sadness and frustration and anger and hurt, or maybe you're like I was when I came to God and I was hiding, <laughs> actually thinking maybe he wouldn't see some of the things I was hiding. I know it's kind of funny now, but I think sometimes we, we do try to hide from him. Then I just ask God that you will open these people's hearts and, and you will allow these words that you just said into their hearts and into their lives so that they can dance. So they can be unburdened, so they can be free of the sin, and so they can come into your arms and be weary no longer. God, I just thank you. I thank you for salvation. I thank you for something that, that I so don't deserve. But you are so willing to offer it to me. I don't understand a love that's that huge. I can't even imagine it with my human brain. But I'm thankful for it. So today, God, I just pray for those people who need that burden taken off their heart. Who need to come to you with that sin or that frustration or that anger. Whatever it is that's making them weary and burdened. God, I just ask that you give them rest in your loving arms. I know how amazing that is. How absolutely incredible that is to rest in your arms. Thank you, God. We just love you so much. In your son's name we pray. Amen.